Welcome back to most probably the final episode of Darkest Dungeon 2. Anyway, let's play. The Mountain of Act 5. I think Act 5 is the final episode, I'm not too sure. Great cigarette. Temple of failure and regret. We unfortunately have a disease on our actual main tank, which is not good. Not good at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm scared there's not gonna be a fight. Because this looks different. Okay. Here, at the nexus of ruin, loathing poured forth from the darkest recesses of your mind. Your failures took form, and the world bowed in honor of your great wretchedness. The stain of your bankruptcy frayed the very fabric of our dimension. But you were afraid to face what you had wrought and fled down the long road of your memories, hiding yourself away. It's just a fight. We have a little buff here, so we'll take it. Yo, my highest speed character? That can't be true. Why are we going first? Malaise. Measured and steady. Normally it's my assassin that goes first. Melee skill knockback. <laughs> Sounds so sad, dude. His melee attacks is a 25% chance to knock back. Well, I have... Cannot be moved. Ever. So good luck with that. Sir. Quiet the howling mind. Hmm. Let's kill the two at the back first. They're dead now. Most probably. Whoa, dude. What is the big daddy heal we got there? Huh? What the heck? How are we going to take care of those? Again? Collaboration confers advantage. The mind's grasp grows tenuous. Nope, we need to take aim again. Without this, it doesn't work. First fight done. 
it is what I'm talking about. Nah, dude. The past is gone. Let it die. Another fight? That was the world. We still have a hundred money. Undone. Should we do it once? I'm scared I'm gonna forget, dude. Let's, let's just go. Everyone with one speed. How many buffs? <laughs> More do we want on this guy? Good news. And you added blind. Are you kidding me, dude? You kidding me? A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Move that debuffs. Cooperation is the key. Mm. I don't know who we're gonna kill first. I think the metal one. Mistimed. Why do we miss? Oh yeah, I had the negative token. Shoot once more. Alright, let's do the two front. Because the one in the middle will die now. A steady subtraction, an invariable result. Got a negative token here. Let's defend this negative token, dude. Until we can bolster again. Yeah, it, it, it will die in two rounds, dude. Bolster to remove the... Oh, I can't. I need to bolster her. A small reprieve from this carousel of horrors. Six damage. Let's do this. So I can do a little bit of this. You like what you see? You like what you see? What? Thank you. Like, why couldn't I attack the guy at the back? The smallest variable can make all the difference. The 
smallest variable can make all the difference. That is very true, very true. Survived it like three times. Overcome even the greatest of threats. Okay, let's see. Are we ready? I think we're ready. For our first meeting on the steps of the university, you were golden, lit from within by the glow of potential. Finally, my friend, I would see that potential realized. It is time to reclaim the world from your weakness. Meet your derelictions with blazing defiance. The equation must be balanced. So let's go. You ready? Final boss time? I'm scared, I'm nervous. Excited. Gaze now upon your great achievement, the sum total of your failings, your body of work. Gut of the coward, white with toxic pusillanimity. Let's do this. What does this even do? Turn end, three blight. It resisted it. That's what I'm scared of. Might just become a resist fest at the end of the day. Debuff. The slow suffering begins. Resist again. Empowered, emboldened. I just cannot get blight on this character, this enemy. It is only this phase, though. Insane blight resist. Let's try just. Get burned then. Resisted burn also. Two hundred HP. Resisted again. We are literally doing four damage, dude. Advantage.
attack aim. Any being, however haunted, can be brought to heal. Okay. We reduce the resistance on him. I don't know for how long it will happen though. It's only for three turns. Agony by accumulation. The enemy weakens and wanes. Cooperation is the key. Okay, phase one is done. Soon. Blight resist, right? Dissection. An unavoidable end. Next, I can't remember what this boss does. Oh, I remember now. No way. I screwed up. I screwed up. I can't select this. I forgot to put the token on. The token steal. Okay. So. Repost. I'll take it. We have a high dodge. We dodged. Repost. I guess we'll do this. Because we have uh, uh, lower damage. Collaboration confers advantage. Bravo! I don't know what the stripe is here. Prepare to deliver a powerful, unavoidable blow. It stole my crit, the dodge. How do we remove the crit? No, we can't, right? We just embrace it. So how this boss would regularly work is you do not buff yourself. That's pretty much what it comes down to. He would steal... Look at how far this thing is down. He would steal the token of whoever does have the most buffs. Okay. I 
could try to move, but we couldn't move. I love the music, though. Sixty-four damage, guys. More than double his HP. Behold the hateful god upon his throne. Your failures made flesh. Okay, we can buff again like crazy people. By the way, this boss has uh, 1,100 HP, so I I'm just saying. If you are interested in some numbers. Start healing soon. A breakthrough. Steady yourself. Measured and steady. Just remove those debuffs from us. Okay, so now um, the babies is killed, right? Heal lock. So now it's uh, it's it's saying something that's called facial failures. So you have to select one of one of these guys here. Uh, I'm gonna select this guy. No, no. Let's select select our damage dealer. So how this works is uh, the the it, like this zombie that just spawned here can only be damaged by the person you select. So the rest, the rest of your team will just like buff and get ready for what is gonna come. Now I can't do any damage here because range is range locked, right? And it's range abilities. So what I can do is I can maybe just do this: 102 damage to the <laughs> to the boss. Sure. It also added a combo point. Welcome relief from caustic agony. So this guy does almost zero damage. Uh, but the thing is, every round he does more and more and more and more and more. Eventually until he one shots anyone. I 
So finally we can damage him. I still can't heal myself. 8 HP. Are you serious? Thank you. This half remembered specter. So just like this, bada bim bada boom. 220 damage. Empowered, emboldened. And now we can kill it like very easily. I don't even think we have to play the game as we should. Uh, the next target we'll pick is the tank. Most probably. Malaise. Measured and steady. We can rely only upon each other. Remove the negative effects. Bolster. I think we'll select our the other damage dealer to do it. Because you can see now my my blight unit, my witch doctor, has no more debuff ever. So we gotta take aim buff. So we're gonna do it. Is the key. Twenty damage per round. Let's see how high we can get this number. Face your failure. Uh, we're gonna select the. Other damage dealer, a rogue. So only frontline attack we have is to aim at both at the same time. Twenty-eight damage per round. Collaboration confers advantage. Torment has 
no place in the compassionate mind. It must be purged. 220, dude. It's, it's so game over. Around 300 HP. We could just literally ignore everything. We're doing 36 damage per round. <laughs> Four or five rounds, dude. How much is that even? That should be more than enough to kill it. Like, I'm telling you now. Should be even buff. No, just do damage. Lucky crit. Seventy-eight damage. Not enough. I think we'll just focus fire on the boss, dude. Where the heck is my phone? It's the most damage I've ever seen in this game. Thirty-eight damage. Oh, let me just do my turn. Calculator, 38 times 7, 266. We should be able to one-shot him now. With our healer. Still not. For some reason. Now it's 32 damage. Yeah, we'll defend. Wait, what? Oh, it is running in taunt. Squandered. Uh, 136 HP left. Sixty. Thirty-two damage per round. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Taunt again. Maybe not a good idea. I should have attacked her. They remove taunt? No, no, taunt is still there. Lenity. Great. Small acts that drive back the darkness. Eighty-five HP on the boss. Steady yourself. But now taunt is gone. Worship. Collaboration confers advantage. Mortal. 
Moment of truth. Taunt us back. Are you serious? The enemy weakens and wanes. I couldn't make it rain. Thirty-one HP left. Taunt is still not there, yeah? The bleed will kill him. And there we have it, guys. Another game that is finished on this channel. Uh, real time for me. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Real time for me, it's about 104 games now. Destroy the thing is to destroy yourself. But the world will spring anew from the memory you kept of it. Confession is complete. The cosmic axes are aligned once more. Forgive yourself. Humanity is a weak hypothesis, after all. An unbalanced equation. An imperfect angle. We sow the seeds of our ruin and seek to deny its reckoning. We make mountains of our mistakes, monsters of our misdeeds. We slip and stumble, we fail and we falter. And yet, in each of us, a hopeful light. Holding fast against the hellish shadows that gather between our good intentions. And in each of us, a limitless emptiness. darkest dungeon. At last, the veil begins to lift. There we go, guys. We finished the game. Just to clarify and double check that we have, we will just drive forward. Remain here if you wish. There is always more that can be learned. This was... Dude, this was really fun. I actually... I actually really loved this game. This was, this was really something different. It, it makes you feel like you're playing the older versions of Final Fantasy, right? Turn-based. But more of a... How can I say this? More of a roguelike, right? It's not like I don't, to, I don't know. Broken souls, and yet our fortunes ride with them. She will unite the remnants of her people, and rid the wild steppes of what roaming horrors yet remain. We're just gonna leave here and go. Wait, 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 wait. wait a minute. Wait, I mean it. When all is lost, we cling to what we can remember. Bask for a moment in the light of distant days. That is so sad, dude. I mean, this clearly indicates who is the strongest heroes in the game. A flickering light. And I, I just have to say this again, because, like, I, I don't think people would understand it when I'm saying it. Like, if you are a veteran new to the game or whatever, it doesn't really matter. These two is by far the strongest two in the game. The top two. 
There is absolutely nothing that comes close to it. Whether it's coming, like, the Witch Doctor is most probably the best healer in the game, as well as the best damage dealer in the game. Yes, if they have... If they have uh, resistances, sure, it's not as good, but... more to its dark passenger. It's uncomparable. It's uncomparable, like, how strong those two are. I think those two is a must-have in your team. Study yeah. your decline carefully, that you may fully understand its nature. There we go, guys. We did finish this whole game. Um, but the guys who don't understand how this uh, channel work, maybe. Uh, we try and finish as many games as possible. Uh, we just finished this game, so that's fantastic. Uh, we must probably... We'll only play dungeon, uh, maybe Darkest Dungeon 1, if someone pays, uh, donates $5, pretty much, for us to cover it. Um, but hopefully we will cover D Darkest Dungeon 3 on release, that would be fantastic. Huge fan of this, this was really fun. Um, uh, normally I do a rating of a game, only at credits though, but there's no credits here. Um, I just want to say that to the people that made this game, it's, it's a very, very unique game. I think it's fantastic. I, I, I you know, I, I've thought a few times about, about like making my own game, but I, you know, a game like this would not take that long to make, but it's like a fantastic idea behind it, right? It's a phenomenal idea behind it. Uh, I think they did a phenomenal job here. And it just shows you, just like Minecraft, right? You don't have to have the biggest team behind you to make a really good game. But what you do need is just have a fantastic idea of what could make a pretty fun game. And I can see people play this literally when they come off work or, you know, get from from school to here. Maybe not school, because that will be Fortnite. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I can see a lot of people actually enjoying this. This is really fun. But it's probably one of my favorite, like, replayable games that I've ever played. Uh, if not ever, it's definitely in a very long time. A game that never ends, right? This is definitely one of the best I've ever played. Uh, so, there it is. I, I, I don't have to do a rating for this game, but if, if you guys want to hear it, I would say... I would say... I would... I would say 9 out of 10, okay? Um, the reason why I give 9 is because uh, some of the relic stuff that you need to do with some euros, uh, especially with my favorite, you know, Blight Doctor, or whatever her name is, uh, yeah. Dude, it was absolutely terrible. I think I failed the thing four times, and then I was like, nah, dude, <laughs> let me do some research, because I'm done failing, so... Um, I would love to... that description there, that's like the only criticism I have for this game. Um, make the goal clear, like what has to happen. Um, you know, that is just my opinion. But other than that, dude, this, this game is fantastic. I, I highly recommend playing it if you've never played it before. Anyway guys, thank you so much for taking time out of days watching this channel. If you want to support it a tiny tad more, Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. I'm looking forward to see you guys in the very next series. Love you guys, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, the great time.